debit. Two very different things. So they may seem like the same thing, right? They're both plastic cards with your name on it and a bunch of numbers on there. So you probably know that already. But what you may not know is how they're different. And that's really important to understand, especially when it comes to protecting your money. So let's talk about the difference between debit cards and credit cards and what you need to know to protect yourself. And you don't have to know everything. You just need a little common sense. So let's talk about how a debit card works. A debit card is linked directly to your bank account. So that means anytime you swipe it for a purchase, the money comes automatically out of your account. So here's how a credit card works. When you swipe a credit card, it's not your money. You're spending somebody else's money. Money lent to you from the bank or a credit card company. And in return, you promise to pay it back. So when the bank agreed to give you a loan with a credit card, you agreed to pay it back with a fee in the form of interest. So when you charge a bunch of stuff on a credit card, the more you charge, the more interest you pay. But if you pay off the balance in full on time every month, you don't get charged any interest. That's because the bank got all their money back. All right, let's talk pros and cons. Pros of debit cards. One, since it's linked to your bank account, you can only spend what you have, so it's a good way to control your spending. Two, you can get cash back, since your debit card can be used as an ATM card. Three, there are typically no fees with debit cards, unless you're talking about an overdraft fee. And four, you don't pay any interest with a debit card since you're spending your money. All right, now the pros of credit cards. One, flexibility. So you can spend more on a credit card maybe than what you have in your checking account. It doesn't mean you wanna go crazy, but you have a little more flexibility during the month as long as you can pay off the charges in full by the due date. Number two, it helps you build credit. So when you use a credit card and pay your bills on time in full by the end of the month, it helps you improve your credit score. Number three, rewards. It's basically free stuff and free money for using your credit card. Airline miles, cash back, some types of insurance coverage. There are tons of different types of rewards, but great pro of credit cards. Number four, security. This is one of the biggest pros of credit cards and really what makes them superior to debit cards. And here's why. With a credit card, you have a lot more protections under the law if someone steals your card or your card number and makes fraudulent charges. So how do you decide which type of card is best for you? Are you a debit card person or a credit card person? So I thought I was a credit card person until I charged a bunch of stuff that I didn't really need and I maxed out my credit card. But I worked really hard, it took a few years, I paid it off and now I use it responsibly so now I really am a credit card person. So if you can control your spending, stick with a credit card and make sure you pay it off each month. If you can't control your spending and you know who you are, stick with a debit card. But that doesn't mean you have to choose either one. Having a debit card and a credit card will allow you some flexibility so you can use each one in the different situations in which one is best. Check your accounts every single day. Your bank account, your credit card account, any of your financial accounts that you use regularly. If you see something suspicious, report it to the bank or credit card company immediately. There are also a few other ways to protect yourself when you're using a debit card. So places you should never use it. These are places where you're more likely to get hit with fraud. So grocery stores, pay at the pump, independent ATMs, like those at random gas stations or ones that aren't affiliated with a bank. For more on credit cards and debit cards and what's best for you in your situation, go to clark.com slash common sense.